Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I want to talk to you guys about my Eunice hair. So I'm going to show you how I revamped this wig. It was made by Stylist Lace by Mo. She is based in Memphis, but I will go ahead and link her information down below because she travels to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you know me, you know I only wear Eunice hair. You can use code Ashley D for some money off. I will talk to you in more depth about the hair and all that stuff um, as I revamp it. So I'm going to quit the blabbering. And get right into it <laughs> we are jumping right in you guys I'm taking aluminum foil on my Eunice Indian body wave hair and as you can see this hair is already blonde but if you really like look it's like super brassy towards the bottom and it's kind of like ashy that light blonde color that I want towards the ends so we're going to get this whole head blonde AF so I'm taking my BW2 bleach mixing it with my 30 developer I just mixed it in the actual bleach container and I am just like taking my aluminum foil and I'm putting that um, underneath the hair applying the bleach mixture to it and then folding that bleach upwards so that the hair can like process in the aluminum foil so I'm just gonna go through and section my hair and do the exact same thing throughout the entire head but what I'm doing it's like feathering the bleach mixture so that I don't get it onto you know the roots but just applying it to the hair that I know is going to be visible like I said feathering it upwards yeah like that like kind of streaking it upwards so that I'm just not you know carelessly dying all the strands of hair blonde I just want the hair that's going to be visible to be super super blonde Break away, forget your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words Stop stalling in the doorway You can't solve the cruise control Switch it in the manual Don't you wanna feel right again? Don't you wanna feel whole? Don't you wanna feel whole? Okay, here's where I got super lazy and um, I did not continue to like section the hair. I just added the bleach mixture from that point up to the very top of the head and just kind of feathered it upwards that way. Like I said, I got super lazy. I was tired of sectioning the hair off. I started working on this hair at like, uh, I want to say that around like 5 a.m. And I didn't finish working on the hair until like 6 p.m. I just, I guess, kind of moved slow, so it took quite some time to do all the things that I had to do. So next up, you see on the counter, I've mixed all these toners together. We'll talk about that in a second. But right now, I'm taking Dark Brown Hair Dye by Revlon. I bought it from Target, and I'm just like gently applying that to the roots. I noticed that I didn't really like how the roots of my hair looked. I accidentally like bleached some of the roots blonde, and I wanted them to be darker. So I was just darkening the roots at that point, basically darkening um, the frontal, just like maybe half an inch. Okay, y'all, so here's where I made my mistake. If you see all of those bottles of toner, um, they're about, I guess, like five bottles on the counter. In one of those containers, it has like two compartments. So I mixed T18 and T35, and then I put like one-fourth of nine in by Wella. All of this is by Wella, right? But then the other container, I did the exact same thing. And just going forward, if you have like shorter hair, you don't need to use five bottles of toner. Um, I really just needed to use T18, T35, and 9N. I made this hair so ashy and so blonde. There's my dad in the background being like, <laughs> hella extra. <laughs> hey dad. Um, I accidentally made my hair purple. Can you guys see that? So my hair was blonde, it was ashy, it was like what I wanted. The roots looked great, the blonde looked great, but it's like hella purple. I know you guys can see that, like kind of violet, it's like little hints. 
you can accidentally overtone your hair, which is what I did. I left my hair sitting in the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. Shouldn't have done that. And um, I think I just used too much toner, left it on for a little too long. So to fix that, I like frantically got on Google. I'm like, what the heck do I do? And because Google and YouTube have the answer to literally every question in this whole universe, I found out that you can actually mix lemons with your conditioner. I'll put the exact measurements in the description box down below. But if you ever overtone your hair and it comes out like purple or blue or it looks kind of muddy, then you can add lemons, mix it with your conditioner. I've read that some people mix it with their shampoo to continue to lighten their hair over time. But I just use this to get rid of that kind of purpley, kind of gray white <laughs> hue that I had. And it completely got rid of it. And I love, love, love the way my revamped hair turned out. I'm obsessed. Okay, guys, that was it. That is how I revamped my hair and my nifty trick of using lemons if you ever dye your hair or tone your hair to the point where it's like blue or purple you can always use lemons and it'll bring your hair your blonde hair right back to where you want it to be so give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful i did um place an order for a customized frontal unit i'm so excited to tell you guys about it but it's for the hair for next month so it's gonna be the next Eunice hair upload. And I did not forget, I will be posting my DIY frontal wig video for you guys. If you're interested in making a frontal wig at home, it was my first time making a frontal wig, but I still, you know, like body it. You know, I did the best that I could. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what styles you would like to see. Do you wanna see different colors on me? Do you think I should stick to this blonde? Do you wanna see short hair? Do you wanna see long hair? What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see any particular textures? Let me know down below so that I kind of have like some kind of, you know, idea. You know how we are, women with our hair, we constantly change it. So yeah, I want some direction. And that is about it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you guys next time. So stay beautiful, bye. Mm -hmm.